Hi, Jim Setzer with Images by Design, and today we're going to take a look at this Venus Laua 7.5 millimeter f2 lens for Micro Four Third systems. Okay, for any product video, I like to disclose uh, the sources, and for this particular product review, uh, this is a bought lens. I bought this lens to address a particular photography challenge. This is not a loaner, this is not a freebie in exchange for a product review. This problem, the challenge that I needed to solve had to do with more and more requests that I'm getting to shoot residential real estate. Now I've got great equipment, but it really isn't optimized for this particular genre. I'm recording right now with a full frame DSLR with a 24-70 to 8 lens. I use that to create all of my stills in real estate and for video aerial I use drones including this Inspire with the X5 camera gimbal combination and the 15 millimeter f17 that comes with that kit and then of course walking around doing tour videos uh, mount that same rig to the Osmo now if you're a real estate shooter you probably already know my dilemma and that has to do with coverage I need much much wider field of view than 24 millimeter full frame or 30 millimeter full frame equivalent is going to give me to shoot smaller spaces, bedrooms, large pantries, hallways, those kinds of things. Just simply does not have the wide field of view that you need to do it properly in real estate. So I picked up this guy, never heard of Laua before, but fantastic reviews and I thought I'd give it a shot relatively inexpensive it's an all manual lens a little over five hundred dollars us i bought the lightweight version i spent the extra 20 us dollars for to save 20 grams uh, it's a little under five hundred dollars us if you get the standard version of this lens taking it out of its nice little jewel box container it ships in the first thing i notice is its size it is tiny it's even smaller around than the standard micro four thirds back cover that tells you how tiny this lens really is uh, the next thing you notice is that for its size it's really dense it really is uh, surprisingly heavy it doesn't sound heavy compared to like a big full frame lens but for its size it really is and that's because of its all metal construction even this lens hood is aluminum so uh, back flange all metal very impressed with the build quality the feel of the thing the focus ring is very smooth and stiff I want that to be nice and stiff especially if I go to mount that on that drone I don't want the vibration changing the focal distance and the aperture ring again a little bit thin for my fat fingers I wish it was a little bit wider but again we're talking about a tiny lens but it's creamy smooth and the stops you can't hear the stops but they have really nice click, very nice action as well. All right, let's start by putting this thing on the X5 camera gimbal. Goes on just like that. I had no problems with the camera and gimbal operating with this lens. It is the right, it, it's small enough to fit inside this restricted space and it is well balanced on this particular gimbal. In fact, with the lens cap on, it actually is perfectly balanced. So that tells you how close it is um, balance wise. The only drawback, and this is nothing to do with the lens, this is a DJI problem, is that DJI for some reason on this Micro Four Thirds camera mounted all, the lens mount 90 degrees off from what a normal Micro Four Thirds camera would do. So any pedal style lens hood like this one is gonna be oriented wrong to the sensor, meaning that these large pedals, which should be top and bottom, end up on the side. And so in almost every video mode, those pedals are in the shot, ruin the shot. So we gotta, we gotta lose this. Now, configured like that, it works brilliantly. I've got some test shots I'll throw up here. You can see what I mean. 
Uh, not only am I getting the coverage, but this is a rectilinear lens, so it removes all that barrel distortion, that fisheye effect that you get with very wide angle lenses. Another reason I picked this lens, so you can see those edges are nice and straight. Okay, this I believe is going to solve my video coverage as well as that distortion problem that uh, was plaguing me. How am I going to use this lens to fix my stills? And what well, my plan is, at least for the time being, is to take this guy and mount it to my primary video camera, the Panasonic GH5. Throw this in my bag when I go to do these real estate shoots and learn how to shoot it in stills mode. The tests I've done so far, oh, let's here, use this uh, lens hood, there we go. <clears throat> Looks a little silly, but that's okay. Uh, it comes in black and silver. I picked the silver one because it was in stock, but now that I've got it, I almost kind of like the kind of retro look it's, it gives. Not that that's important. I did a few test shots around the studio. Again, I got really great coverage for smaller spaces. Nice rectilinear, so it's all you know, right in camera. It's just pretty much ready to go. I want to do a coverage test, so I put it in front of this faux brick backdrop I've got in my portrait studio. And like almost every wide angle lens, there's some vignetting and there's a little bit of softness in the corners, but neither of them is by any means bad. I mean, I was very impressed with the quality of this lens edge to edge. And that vignetting I can very easily fix with the preset during import in Lightroom. The softness in the corners, nobody's gonna care in real estate uh, imagery. N none of the stuff gets blown up to large enough to, to even notice that. So, um, so far, I'm very impressed with this lens. I'll take it out on a couple of shoots next week and see how it performs in the real world. And when I get that lens hood or hoods designed and printed, I'll put it on the Inspire and take it in the air and see how it handles in flight. Hey, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, do click like down below. And if you wanna see more videos from me, please do subscribe. I love subscribers. For Images by Design, I'm Jim Setzer. Have a fantastic day.